If ever proof was needed that when two stars collide, there's an almighty explosion, just look at the court case of Johnny Depp versus his former wife, Amber Heard. After only a few days, the trial is already a blockbuster and the critics are raving, mostly in disbelief. Why is the pair exposing the grubby, and I warn, very grubby details of their failed marriage? Well, Johnny claims his career was destroyed after he was defamed in a newspaper article Amber wrote about domestic violence. Now he's demanding millions in damages. Amber, not surprisingly, is countersuing for millions more. But the truth is, in this Star War, they'll both pay dearly. Your next witness? Your Honour, we call Mr John C. Depp. Who needs to watch a Hollywood drama when you can just tune in to the daily vaudeville of the Fairfax County Courthouse in Virginia? Even in their wildest dreams, Tinseltown scriptwriters couldn't come up with lines quite like this. Amber will testify about how Johnny would get so drunk and so drugged out that he would vomit all over himself and worse, lose control of his bowels. She would clean him up. It really is very clear this is all unscripted, particularly when the Pirates of the Caribbean star himself Hi, takes sir. the stand. Good afternoon, Mr. Depp. Good afternoon. Can you please tell the jury why you're here today? And with evidence um, like this, yes. the case could um, take quite a while. About six years ago, um, uh, Ms. Hurd made uh, some quite heinous and um, uh, disturbing, uh, brought these disturbing criminal um, acts um, against uh, me that, uh, that were not based in any species of truth. The testimony lurches from disturbing to downright bizarre. And, and you would sometimes drink whiskey in the mornings too, right? During this time period. Um, I, 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 you know, I mean, isn't happy hour any time. <laughs> and what's extraordinary when you hear all of this is that the whole reason Johnny Depp launched this court action is because he's trying to improve his reputation. Lies build upon lies and build upon lies. Is the sad reality that, you know, Johnny Depp's reputation is now so damaged that in some ways he has nothing to lose by trying to swing the bat and, and have another crack at this case? Yeah, uh, yes, I think that that's, that's a legitimate strategy. I've got nothing left to lose. I've found a jurisdiction that will allow me to take Amber, to, Amber Heard to court one more time and I'm going to have a crack at it because otherwise... What do I do? Retire, essentially, in disgrace, going to my grave, as he said, carrying these allegations of violent abuse, which he says he thinks he knows aren't true. When he became an investigative reporter, Nick Wallace never expected to become an expert on the rise and fall of Johnny Depp. Johnny! He covered the Hollywood star's first attempt at defamation when he sued the Sun newspaper in the UK two years ago. And now he's in the US as Depp sues for libel again, this time taking on his former lover. And on my side of the bed, um, was human faecal matter. The result in that first case in London, how did that pan out? The judge in the case, who is a renowned expert on libel, looked at all the evidence and decided that, he joined up the dots and decided that, on the balance of evidence, it was substantially true that Johnny Depp was a wife beater. So it didn't go that well for him. So a resounding defeat for Johnny Depp first time around in London. Why then is he doubling? Yeah, resounding. I mean, really, really resounding. I mean, the, the judge's verdict was damning on Johnny Depp. So if he's so thoroughly defeated in the UK, why then double down in the US and, and go through it all again? If Johnny Depp loses this trial, his career is toast. I mean, it's not in that good shape anyway. 
And this is the last throw of the dice. He's trying to persuade some good American citizens in Fairfax County, Virginia, that actually everything he's been saying all along is right. But there is now a body of public opinion, evidence, high court rulings in, in London that paint him as someone capable of physical violence against his spouse. Get in. Blurred vision, no balance, numb tongue. The mind recoils in horror. This time, Johnny's got it in for Amber because she wrote an article for the Washington Post about domestic violence. Although Depp wasn't named, he took it personally. If the drinking doesn't get you into trouble, how does anybody drink 161 miniatures? Are they not complimentary? But it wasn't always all-out war between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Their worlds collided on the set of the 2012 comedy drama The Rum Diary. Oh, God. Why did she have to have it? Just when I was doing so good without her. Their chemistry in the movie was palpable, and romance quickly blossomed offset. I think there was something in, in the shower that was very um, real. This, this spark that he said he felt was literally pure Hollywood. But he was also very much aware that he was almost twice her age and he called himself Steve and uh, she called herself Slim after a Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart movie in which he uh, was that much older than Lauren Bacall. So they were aware of the age difference, but he said they had so much in common. They had this spark and they had this passionate love for each other which developed into this tempestuous relationship which slowly became progressively more and more toxic. And then, God, when it went toxic, I mean, it is proper dirty linen being washed in public. And to sit there and listen to it, it's not nice. Suddenly, I'm just getting cl clobbered from behind and... While cameras weren't allowed in the UK court proceedings, the game changer in this case in America is that every minute of evidence, every facial expression is being broadcast live around the world. This is going to be like watching a movie, and people are not going to get enough of it. They're absolutely going to be glued to watching that coverage. Hollywood lawyer and legal analyst Christopher Melcher is gobsmacked it even got to this point. Do you think there's just a fascination with these two? It's almost like a car crash. You can't look away. It is. And there's a bit of self-destructive behavior that we're seeing on both sides. And why have they allowed it to go this far? Why couldn't they just break up and go in peace and move forward? Why are we seeing a court case about a failed relationship? There really is a, a bit of the O.J. Simpson case about this one in terms of the public fascination. This is a big trial in the amount of attention that it's getting. O.J. had a lot of attention because there was a murder. There was two victims there. There was a lot of very complex evidence. This case is not that complicated. It's the people that are complicated, and we're getting to learn more about them. And I said, go ahead, hit me. In many ways, we're learning too much more about them. Bam. And worryingly for Johnny, new details of his bizarre lifestyle might now even lead to criminal charges right here in Australia. You got this going? Oh, really? It is a taboo, it is a horrendous thing, it is a criminal act in itself. Then there will be lots and lots of people looking at this to see whether or not charges can be brought. When Hollywood heartthrob Johnny Depp came to Australia to film Pirates of the Caribbean in 2015, pandemonium ensued. With him was his stunning young wife, Amber Heard. They seemed a picture-perfect couple. But in a US court last week, Amber made bombshell new revelations that Johnny Depp sexually assaulted her while on the Gold Coast. As you go through those three days of Australia, some pretty horrendous things happen to her. He rips off her nightgown. He has her jammed up against a bar. He has hurled bottles and bottles at her. He has dragged her across the floor on the broken bottles and the liquor. He has punched her. He has kicked her. He tells her he's going to kill her. He fucking hates her. He's pounding at her, pounding her. And then he penetrates her with a liquor bottle. That's the Johnny Depp that you're going to hear about in this case.
It is a horrendous thing. It is a criminal act in itself. But if the jury goes with Amber Heard and says, yes, you are also a victim of sexual violence, a violent sexual assault whilst in Australia, then there will be lots and lots of people looking at this to see whether or not charges can be brought. Nick Wallace has covered many of Johnny Depp's legal trials and tribulations. And while it may seem bizarre that a couple from Hollywood is in a court on America's East Coast debating alleged violence and sexual assault incidents in Australia, he says there is a semi-logical explanation for it. It is very strange that most of the protagonists are based in California, that the uh, damage that was done to Johnny Depp's reputation was to the Hollywood producers in, in California who stopped calling him as a result of these allegations. But the judge in Virginia agreed that this Washington Post article was published on servers in the state of Virginia, which then went around the world. So she said, yes, there is jurisdiction in this state. You can sue for libel. Is he effectively jurisdiction shopping? Just keep going around until he gets the result he wants. He clearly believes in what he's doing. He clearly believes that he has never laid a finger on Amber Heard. After you said, let's drown her before we burn her, Mr. Depp, yes. you said, I will f her burnt corpse afterwards to make sure she is dead. That's what you said that you would do after you burned her and after you drowned her. Did I read that right? You certainly did, yes. And you wrote that about the woman who would later become your wife. Yes, I did. Okay. The more times that he keeps going to the well, the more, the more allegations come out as a result. And I mean, this, this goes beyond dirty laundry. I mean, if he is guilty of some of the things that Amber Heard is accusing him of, he should be under criminal investigation. But no matter what the evidence, there is one group of people who are already convinced Johnny Depp is not a sinner. In their eyes, he'll always be a saint. There's a lot of Johnny Depp fans out there. Where do you rank? I'm number one after 36 years, so I'm the number one fan. Uh, how do you become number one? Well, you start following him after Edward Scissorhands and follow the Hollywood vampires through Europe, go to every movie premiere, every event, anything that Johnny does that you can get to. I love him, and like I said, it's been a long time. I love the person that he is. To me, he's an angel. There are many words you could use to describe Yvonne de Boer. Perhaps devoted is the most fitting. Would you take a bullet for Johnny? I would. And I've told him as much. And he looks at me like, no, don't, don't think that. I said, no, if somebody were going to hurt you, I would jump in front of you. He's just, he's that person that you've, you want to do that for him. So Johnny here, he's still wearing the ring and bracelet that I gave him. Yvonne gets to the courthouse at 1 a.m. each morning, guarantee herself a prime seat right behind Johnny. And after the evidence she's heard so far, it's fair to say, hell hath no fury like a woman whose idol has been scorned. Dare I ask what, what you think of Amber Heard? I think she is an evil person, a despicable person. Uh, I don't feel she or anyone has the right to make up the kind of lies that she's making up about him. She utterly wants to destroy him and she'll never be able to because he's very strong. Yvonne is part of the Justice for Johnny movement, which is hell-bent on delivering on its motto. How will you feel if Johnny loses? Nothing's going to change for me. I'll still love him as much as I do. I'll still support him. I'll be there for him if we need to pick him up or cheer him up or whatever we need to do. I'll be there. Nothing will change. How will you feel if Johnny wins? I'll be ecstatic. I want him to be happy, to have peace, to have tranquility and go on with his life. That's what I hope. Um, well, but the reality is that the verdict in this case might be irrelevant anyway. That cocaine, that those white lines, those are cocaine. That's cocaine, right? I would assume. It yeah, and like that's it. that's your cocaine that you kept in that box that says property of JD with the skull and crossbones, isn't it? Well, the beautiful composition of the photograph would suggest that, certainly. You but can't it, say that you carried cocaine in that box? No, but it looks like it would fit some cocaine. I, I, I... 
Hollywood lawyer Christopher Melcher believes both sides are self-destructing in this unedifying spectacle. Given the amount of pretty damaging evidence that they've got to go through in the courtroom here, even if Johnny Depp wins, does he kind of still lose? This is a problem that all celebrities and public figures face. When they feel that they're defamed, they want to fight back and clear their name. But we as legal advisors tell them that they're just bringing more attention to that statement. And sometimes it is better just to let it die. Because if you sue, you bring a lot of attention to it and then you also open yourself up to everything else. Any controversy like this is bad for their brand. It's actually toxic to their brand. They've lost control of how they are viewed when you have a court case like this going on. It's not only exposing for myself, it's exposing for my family, it's exposing for Miss Heard. It, it never had to go in this direction. I can't say that I'm embarrassed because I know that I'm doing the right thing. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.